When we finally did get home, we were home, gosh, 36 hours. <laughs> and then we got a phone call from his pediatrician. We were, I think, both in disbelief more than anything because we had just brought our perfect baby home. It had taken us two years to even get to the point where we could have a child. And at the initial phone call, we thought it was a paperwork mix-up. And then she started telling us about the newborn screening test came back, and I'm so sorry, but he, he has skid, and it just, you know, she sounded like the Charlie Brown voice. And there was cases where undiagnosed or untreated, the, uh, the kids would barely survive their first birthday. The toughest moment was to imagine that you would truly bury your own child. When we actually got the diagnosis and how those children typically don't live past one, that moment, I mean, that sent me into to counseling um, to, to help me work through hearing that news because it's just, it just, it guts you. The doctors that uh, took care of Fitz told us that there was a genomics institute associated with uh, Radies, and there is a potential that they could sequence his whole genome and give us a diagnosis of what exact type of skid he has. We were able to find out within, gosh, almost less than three days that he had Artemis skid. And that, just knowing exactly what was wrong with him and so quickly, we were able to start discussing what we were gonna do with him for his treatment plan going forward. And then we were basically given the option of a traditional uh, bone marrow transplant or um, a clinical trial that was had just started in May that year at, the, uh, at UCSF that would basically be a gene therapy. That was a little scary for me because it, it is experimental, but the doctors at Rady walked us through and were very honest knowing our situation and said if it were our kid, I would do the, the gene therapy. So we went for it. We drove up to San Francisco, August 2019, to live in the isolation room in their BNT unit of the hospital. It was assumed we would be there for four months minimum. Emotionally very distressing um, because there's only so many people you interact with on a daily basis. I mean, in, in the room itself, it was my son, my wife, and myself. We had to have his bone marrow extracted. They, they surgically placed a port in his chest. He had to go through two days of chemo. Everything was in prep for, for his gene therapy. They come in with this huge syringe with, you know, this fluid in it and it takes about 20 minutes for them to inject it. And then we wait for three months to see if um, his body can start producing T and B cells. It seemed like a miracle. I mean, the researchers found a way to basically take his own stem cells out, introduce a corrected copy of this defect gene he had, see if it all worked out in the lab, put us back into his body, and three months later, it's like popcorn, like immune cells started popping up. And they started popping up like popcorn, uh, like his doctor, you know, explained it to us it would, and he ended up with over uh, 60 T cells, and they were like, you can go. It's like, oh, it's happening, it's happening, he has T cells. And finally they told us like, yeah, he's, he's healthy enough, uh, you can basically leave tomorrow. So yeah, we were stoked to be packing up and actually finally heading home. He was patient um, 007. And we took that as a good sign from the very beginning. We just thought, our little James Bond baby. When we got word that he was able to leave the hospital, it just picking him up and taking him out in a little baby carrier, it didn't seem right. It, this is so momentous. So we bought a little sports car for him. I bought a little tuxedo for him. And that's how we had him roll out of his hospital room. It was very emotional. There was tears on our end and also on the, the team that cared for him. And that was, a, yeah, that was a very significant send-off. Fitz is doing amazing. I honestly don't think we could have ended up with a better outcome, everything that he's gone through. 
Um, he's as normal as any two and a half year old. Extremely happy. Um, he's just, it's incredible. We are so excited. Fitz is gonna have a little sister, just a little before his birthday too. So we're telling him this is an early birthday present for him. Um, but we've been trying um, for the past year and a half, so we're so excited it's finally happening. There's moments when I, when we think back and even imagine what it would look like if there was no rapid genome sequencing, if there was no clinical trial that did uh, the gene therapy, because um, we could have very well ended up in a different place. Rady Children's Institute for Genomics Medicine was instrumental in our son's uh, life in helping determine what path he was going to go down after getting his diagnosis. I'm so impressed with what they've been able to do up to this point and can't wait to see what they're able to do for families in the future.